Toyota Safety Sense comes standard on virtually all our vehicles because we never lose sight of the most important thing, you. We make our vehicles with safety top of mind and we can't wait to see what you'll do with them. Alone, just a car. Together, so much more. Les pièces que le Wi-Fi a oubliées. Celles qui ont été laissées dans la poussière. Ignorées. Hors de la portée du routeur. Heureusement, un Wi-Fi rapide et intelligent est arrivé. Voici le Wi-Fi partout chez vous. Couvrez chaque pièce avec le Wi-Fi intelligent. Seulement avec Dell. To the world. It's the beautiful game. To us, it's proving we belong. In the neighborhoods and cities that make us who we are, this is a league we can call our own. For Canadians, by Canadians. We're on a journey out of the shadows and back into the hearts of a nation. That noise you hear is us moving in. And we're bringing the best homegrown talent with us. Players that bleed the same red as you, sworn to defend your home turf. Playing for your loyalty, playing for respect. Bonds will be forged, colors flown, history will be written, rivalries born. The stage is ours, the journey has begun. We are many. We are one. Toyota Safety Sense est inclus de série sur pratiquement tous nos véhicules. Parce que nous ne perdons jamais de vue que ce qui compte le plus, c'est vous. Nous concevons des véhicules axés sur la sécurité. Et nous sommes impatients de voir ce que vous en ferez. Seul, simplement un véhicule. Ensemble, bien plus encore.
Veuillez maintenant accueillir les deux équipes alors qu'elles entrent sur le terrain pour le tour préliminaire du championnat canadien de ce soir. And now, please welcome both teams as they take the field for tonight's Canadian Championship preliminary round match. Veuillez maintenant vous lever pour l'hymne national du Canada qui sera chanté par M. Dominique Lafont. Oh Canada, terre de nos aïeux, ton front est saint de fleurs en glorieux, car ton bras s'est porté l'épée, il s'est porté la croix. Ton histoire est une épopée des plus brillants exploits. God, keep our land glorious and free. Oh, Canada, we stand on God for thee. Oh, Canada, we stand on God for thee. En direct du stade des Jardins de Laval, vous regardez la deuxième ronde du championnat canadien de soccer sur Maikoju TV. L'AS Blainville croise le fer avec le Fury d'Ottawa. Alors bonsoir mesdames et messieurs, Garand Ratic avec vous pour vous accompagner tout au long de ce match du championnat canadien de soccer. Un défi de taille se dresse ce soir devant l'AS Blainville, club semi-professionnel qui évolue dans la première ligue de soccer du Québec. Alors qu'ils font face à une équipe expérimentée, une équipe professionnelle qui a bien l'intention, je dirais ce soir, de mettre un terme à cette véritable histoire cendrillon euh, qui a débuté ici à Laval le 6 juin dernier alors que l'AS Blainville a défait les Blue Devils d'Oakville par la marque de 2 à 1 lors du premier tour de ce championnat canadien. 
Et Blainville a été solide, mesdames et messieurs, au premier tour, donc face aux Blue Devils. Mais là, on parle d'un défi bien différent ce soir. Surtout, l'enjeu est immense. L'équipe qui sortira gagnante de ce duel aller-retour retrouvera en demi-finale les champions en titre, le Toronto FC, et son redoutable joueur vedette, Sébastien Jovinko. Et pour ceux qui nous suivaient pour la première fois sur MikeOujut.tv, ben sachez que tout au long de la rencontre, notre équipe technique éditera la ligne de temps de cette cette transmission l'aide bon de marqueurs qui représenteront les moments forts de la rencontre. Alors, si vous désirez, par exemple, revoir un but, ben, vous n'aurez qu'à cliquer sur le marqueur. Bien précis, on va vous rediriger directement à ce moment du match. Thank you. Excited to be, uh, Alors, euh, il me fait plaisir également de vous informer que je yeah, serai accompagné de Jason DiBrio, ancien joueur de l'Impact lors de la deuxième demi de cette rencontre. Donc, Jason va se joindre à notre transmission pour commenter, analyser un peu ce qui s'est passé jusqu'à ce moment dans la rencontre. Et bien entendu, toute la deuxième demi de ce match qui est disputé donc du côté de Laval. Et je vous présente tout de suite les formations de part des deux équipes du côté de Blainville. C'est Erwan Ofuya dans les buts. Et Julien Blainville peut pouvoir jouer en tant que défenseur latéraux en défense centrale. On retrouve Boudir, Redraj et Nafi Diko Reno, le capitaine. En milieu défensif, Yannick Tucker et Oshang Nourali. Et complète le milieu terrain, Bilal Lachoury, Maxime Lecomte et Nazim Belgendouz. Et à la pointe, on retrouve Pierre Rudolph, celui qu'on appelle Papouche. Mais il y a procuré la victoire à Blainville lors du premier match ici. Un but spectaculaire dans les derniers moments du match. Et si vous vous demandez, est-ce que Ottawa prend la légère ce soir? The former New York City FC man also has three caps for Panama. Is going to start up top. He's the number 99. You could see him at the middle of the field. So this is going to be a huge test for Blindville. Can they overcome the odds? We shall see. And we are off here at Stade des Jardins in Laval. With Ottawa Fury, a quick ball down the field. The Ottawa Fury in the white kits tonight. The white away kits and Blainville in their usual blue kits. And an early whistle here from the referee. That's a foul for Blainville. Kevin Oliveira, Chris Manella, Jamar Dixon in attack, Tony Taylor. Two holding midfielders. Alors Belgien 12 avec le ballon, laisse derrière. Yeah, New Rally and Yannick Toker. Toker being a new acquisition for for Blainville picked up in a transaction, a trade from Utrecht. So, and he's just been brought right into the lineup. Here's a long ball forward. To Taylor, he's in behind already. Can he convert? And oh my goodness, there it is! It's the worst of starts for Blainville. We've barely just played a minute here. A simple ball forward. And it's Tony Taylor, the ex New York City FC man, who makes no mistake. Lui qui n'avait pas joué le dernier match de son équipe. The bottom corner, and it's already 1-0 for Ottawa Fury. I was just looking at Tony Taylor, just looking at his movement, and as soon as they won that ball in the middle of the park, he peeled off his defender, made a great run with a great ball, and super class finish. Wow, the worst of starts for Blainville now. You know, we talked about it before the game, the importance of them keeping, keeping a clean sheet at least for as long as possible, but to give up a goal so early against this Ottawa Fury team, the worst of starts for them. Let's going to see how they react here. This is a team, by the way, that hasn't hasn't lost this season in all competitions. It's a team that isn't used to losing games. What a blow for them. We'll see how they react. Here's here they are in the Ottawa Fury, the cross in the box, and that's a simple catch for Maxine Cripo, the goalkeeper. We've got to clarify also that Ottawa Fury trains every single day in a professional environment. Um, and it's not going to be easy later on in the game. So they got to try to keep this, this game as close as possible so that they have a chance later on. Here's Lecomte now. Some possession here from, from Blainville. Trying to react.
ball out for a throw and some uh, some good pressure now from Blanville. But yeah, you could see some also the body language a little bit. You could see a little bit down a bit, but have to react now or else this game could get ahead of them very quickly. Obviously, Ottawa Fury have plenty of talent and experience. Some Canadian internationals on their lineup, well, at least players who have played for Canada and, and different national teams. So a very experienced side. Well, Nick, the next 15 minutes are super important and leadership from players like Mayaud, you know, that have been in these situations, gotta, gotta bring that leadership out and, and make them really believe that they have a, sh they have a shot. Shot from distance. Not enough on it, didn't have the direction either. But yeah, you mentioned Mayard. He was in the box there on a challenge. He's going to be super important for this team, especially if they want to score tonight because he's got that, that special knack in the box to give this team a, a goal. We saw that in the last round with some great acrobatic skill. But here they go again up the field. Mayard had made the run too far for him, though. And that's to the goalkeeper. There's a player down here. You don't see it yet on your screen, but referee is whistled down. There's a player down. That doesn't look very good here. It's not clear exactly what player it is. It is a tough surface here, I must say, at the Stade des Jardins. Obviously, we had a chance to walk across it. Beautiful night for football. Great fans, again, that came to, to support this Blainville team. You see some of the Blainville players now talking and Maillard showing leadership, talking first to the, f the front four and now to his back line. So. Yeah, it's Kevin Oliveira, number 88. Cape Verde national team player. The Ottawa Fury coach, Nikola Popovich, has a very interesting resume, and, wa and one line on that resume includes being an assistant coach for the Cape Verde national team, and uh, he's got a couple players from Cape Verde, and uh, Kevin Oliveira, which is coming off now, is one of them. Yeah, he's... It's not clear if he's going to come back into the game. He's down on the pitch now being treated, but for the moment, A.S. Blainville are going to be playing up a man. See if they can take advantage of that. Here's Obasi. Physical game here at the foul. Dixon leaves it for Manila. Manila long ball forward to the byline. The cross didn't connect with it super well. That's a ball out for a throw in. Edward with the throw in. And that's cleared by the Blanville back line. It's also a tough matchup for uh, for Maillard. You see, they're having to to fight for that ball with uh, with Nana Adakora, former TFC player. He's the big man at the back. He's a lot of experience, so a difficult matchup there for Maillard. Both of you are here on the on the touchline, taking the throw-in. Ball to Maillard, who controls. Taken down and he gets the free kick. Manila didn't like that so much. Here's Lenore on the sideline. Drives forward Lenore. Finds the Colt. Raj Raj over to Dico Reno. Mayard had come really wide. Ball's given away. 
and Fury recuperate possession. Oliveira went down again for the Fury and he's limping now so seems like he's still a concern out there for the Fury. Ball forward. Oh, that's a shove in the back. Red Raj with a tough challenge from behind on, on Tony Taylor. So Blainville having trouble right now with that balance between being aggressive and not giving up fouls. You know, you're playing some experienced players. It's a very dangerous, dangerous spot for a free kick. Looks like it might be a right, a right footer out swinger. Yes, it is. It's Carl Haworth who will take it. Just one man in the wall. Some big players on this uh, Ottawa Fury team right now. One that comes to mind is Obasi, that back post right there. Yeah, a lot of tall players here. Out of Cora, Jugair. Got to be tight. Ball delivered towards the back post. Goalkeeper gets there, Ofuya. And there's a bit of a collision with the goalkeeper and the referee awards a free kick to Blainville. Not the best technique by Ofuya, but great bravery. And ended up getting the foul. Yeah, tough one because there were some players in front of him. But that's gonna be an area where Ottawa will will certainly look to take advantage. We saw that even in the last round with the Oakville Blue Devils that they also had some, created some some threats and danger from those set pieces. So yeah, given the size of this Ottawa Fury team, that's gonna be an area where they're gonna try to exploit. Ball forward, Adekora clears. Taylor takes it down, lays it off. Really physical out there in midfield. sure what kind of approach Blanville were going to take in this game. We thought, oh, maybe they're going to park the bus, sit back, but it looks like in these first 10 minutes, they've been very aggressive trying to go at them, but now they kind of have to, given they're down a goal. Here's Taylor again. Evades a slide tackle, but it's taken away, but it's recovered once again from the Ottawa Fury. Ball into the box from Hayworth, and Ofuya gets there quick boot down the field looking for Mayard. He does well, second ball recovered from Blanville, but then it's given away once again to the Fury and there's a foul. We've seen several fouls already in these first 12 minutes. This is an intense affair here at Star de Jardin, referee trying to calm things down a little bit. I'd still say to to still for um, for Blainville to stay compact and you know not make it a, a north south type of game because there's some quality on this this Ottawa Fury team. I'd keep it nice and compact and choose my moments to start and make sure this game doesn't get away from me too early. He yeah, has a great crowd tonight, even bigger crowd than what we had the in the last round, which was already quite impressive, I must say. But they're getting a real treat tonight. A lot of quality on the pitch and a lot of Canadian content. Ottawa Fury have prided themselves too as being a team that oh yeah. uh, deploys mostly Canadian players and obviously playing Ville mostly Canadian side as well. But here's Ottawa Fury again. Ball delivered, not no one there to in the box there for the Fury. Erwan Ofuya. Bit of a cheap giveaway there on the outside. That was Dico Reno trying to avoid that from being a corner kick ball out for a throw in instead for the Auto Fury.
That's the big man, Obazi, like you mentioned on the left side, uh, left hand side, the big full back. In no rush to take that throw in. Ottawa Fury in complete control here. And it's Atacora. Another long ball forward from Atacora looking for Tony Taylor. Second ball recovered. Oh, that's a bad giveaway. Here's Taylor again. Oh, that's a foul. Dangerous free kick. Dixon looked to take it quickly, thought about it. But they're going to settle it down now. and Got to be careful there, giving, out, giving away the ball in a dangerous area and then giving up a foul. Essentially... discussion here as to who's going to take it or how they're going to take it but certainly a very dangerous position here for the Ottawa Fury I don't know about the wall if that's a little close yeah referee maybe ask no nope. does seem a little close we'll see what they can do here it's Oliveira and that's easy for Ophelia look to loop that over Really looks like a 4-4-2 uh, from Blainville with Lacombe playing nice and high. Might have to drop into the midfield and, and give a hand in there. But right now it looks like two blocks of four with Lacombe and, and Maillard up top. Deco out wide to Beausejour. Beausejour back to, to Deco Reynaud. Over to Redrad, Redrad with the long ball, looking for Mayar, I think, but that goes over him. And Manella, ball out wide from Manella, he's... Manella delivered that ball first time out wide, but uh, got a bit of a kicking out from Yannick Toker. And Toker's getting a bit of a talking to from the referee. So we see uh, Toker and Norali in the middle of the park having a lot of trouble with the technicality and the physicality of, of the three midfielders, Oliveira, Manella, and Dixon in the middle. Some nice footwork from Obazi. Oh, that's another bad challenge. That's his third in a row. Yeah, no cards yet in this game, and it is still early in the game. But that's Odinija Reed taken down. Big boys are coming up. Might see a back post right here. F five box, five players in the box for the Fury. Ball to the second post, and it's all redirected to the first post, and it's over the net. That was another good opportunity for the Fury. A, a nicely worked set piece to the back post, then to the first post. Got to be ready for those second balls coming across goal. Fortunate for um, for Blainville, he was offside there. Ball sent long again, looking for Mayard. That's going to be a pattern we'll see from throughout the game, I think. Direct to Mayard hasn't worked yet. Capitaine Hayworth. Here's Taylor, he falls, no call from the referee. Blanville recoup possession, ball out wide. Oh, that's a nice ball for Leconte. It was a nice idea. Now Blanville but, can, yeah, can but squeeze it, them then though. Yeah, but at least it goes up the field. Yeah. It was a nice little bit of play there up to Leconte. Made some nice movement out wide. It's a throw in for the Fury coming up. There you could see Nikola Popovich, the uh, coach of the Fury. Taylor again taken down behind the play. I don't think the referee spotted it, but play on for Blanville keeping possession here. And it's Belgendus taken down now. 
Ottawa Fury staff not liking how this game is going in terms of the physicality. Yeah, it has been very physical. I've just lost track of how many fouls we have we've had in this game. But I think it's normal. I think yeah. you want to come out with a lot of intensity, a lot of energy, and right now you're in between. If you're not sure, you're you're, you're running through your players. So, so these are opportunities right now. Great ball. Blainville has some height as well. Yep, Belgian dude's now going to take the free kick. We saw last week with uh, their home game when they scored. It came from his service. Delivery looking long to the back post. But too long. And that's easy for Max Kripo. Not the best service. Doesn't waste any time. Put it forward to Taylor. Second ball isn't picked up in midfield. Here we really see the two lines of four. Like Lacombe to drop in and help out those two in the midfield. And keep it compact. Here's Manella. Manella back to Atacora. Edward. Edward looks long to Taylor, too long. A little frustrated with himself there, Edward. But you know, other than that first goal and some little shaky moments here and there, we're at the 20th minute. It hasn't been so bad yet for Blindville. Haven't created much, but it's just that lapse in the first minute, Jason, really. Well, they're definitely competing, but again, it shows again the quality of Ottawa Fury that if you do fall asleep, even though it is the first minute, that they have quality up top to make, um, to make you pay. And Blainville can move the ball a bit more and try to move that defensive block. And they win the throw-in. Beausejour will take the throw-in. Some Ottawa Fury fans as well made the trip, so great turnout tonight ball out and that's going to be a corner kick for Blainville. Good opportunity for them. That's the first corner kick I believe for Blainville coming up. That's Belgian Deuce. Belgian Dews will deliver, first post. That's some tough defending there from the Fury back line. Not much room for Blainville in the box there. There you see some uh, some real support for Blainville. Quatre, Nana Attaco. Another corner kick opportunity, here it comes. Bill Gwindu's in the box. Crippo does well to fist away. Is there a handball? No. Nearly an, a dangerous opportunity for Oliveira to take off there. Oliveira playing in the midfield for the Fury, but much more advanced in that situation. Here's Edward. Edward looking for Hayworth, but too far. That's some good, po good possession touch. there from Blanville. The Much better from them playing out of the out of the back. Yeah, there's enough quality that they can be patient and try to play at two, three passes before they go forward like they just did. Now they're just missing a bit of that quality in the final pass. Chance to put some pressure on this Fury side. Crepo forced to dump it wide out to the touchline, throw it coming up for Blainville.
Glanville with some good possession here. Fury in a low block, defending, content to do so with the 1-0 lead here in the 24th minute. On the ball looking for, for Taylor. And that's out for the Fury throw in, enables them to move up the field. Fury do are coming off a, a road game. They are coming off two losses, but the uh, the last game they played was uh, was stopped because of lightning. So they'll have to re they'll have to continue that game another time. But uh, they got another game coming up on the weekend, so they also have to manage a little bit their roster and their their tempo and that kind of thing. And they got to play this Blanville side again once a week so you could see personally I think yeah. they gotta they gotta take this ser this competition serious you know how how important it is to the Canadian fans and it's important to get that game against Ottawa um, against uh, TFC that's a good touch from from Hayworth they've been looking they've been playing a lot down this right right hand side Jason through Hayworth and uh, and Taylor Oliveira recovers in the middle. And it's Dixon out to Obazi. Obazi with some footwork. Fans not happy with that one. They felt like, yeah, they felt like they had gotten the ball there, but uh, the defenders on Obazi, he goes down. They get the free kick. Popovich, the coach for the Ottawa Free, we can hear from here. He's this, he's talking with the fourth official. He's not happy with the uh, the amount of fouls his team is getting, but of course it's understandable that Blanville are going to try and make this as difficult as possible. I think his comment was more on the center midfielder Tucker, where he it's his like fourth or fifth in a row. So, oh, that was a curling effort. Just skidded past the far post there. Ophelia seemed like he was, would have been able to get there. That was another dangerous free kick opportunity for, for the Fury. Blanville have been physical tonight. As to be expected in this second round of the Canadian Championship. So much at stake here, obviously the the winner of these two legs will go on to face Toronto FC in the semifinals of the tournament. And also for Blaville an opportunity to to test their medal and show that uh, they can they can play with the professionals here. Uh, and especially given that uh, CPL is on the way, Canadian Premier League coming next year. So there will be more opportunities and potentially opportunities for some of these Blanville players to, uh, to get a professional contract perhaps next year. Uh, so a real opportunity for them for sure, the against this Fury side. Exactly, sorry Nick. The, the, the platform is there for those that have the quality, that are, that are committed um, to becoming a professional soccer player. So this is a good test for them to see where they're at. Here Deco. Looks long to Lenore. Will it get there? No. Crepo's got it. Nearly reached Lenore there. Trying to sneak behind the fullback. Eddie Edward. That ball was on. Edwards was ball watching and uh, Yeah, the, he, right he was caught there, yeah. yeah. It's a great ball right there. This is a good possession here from That's a great ball. Belgandu's out the oh Mayard and that was an important intervention from Atacora. That was well timed. If you didn't get that right on, Mayard was on, was in on goal. Yeah, it was Belgian dudes who tucked in. And it was a nice ball on the floor to Belgian dudes who then delivered a nice ball over the top to Mayard who timed his run and very high quality sequence from 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 Blanville and if it's not for a superb tackle intervention from Atacora, 
that's an opportunity for Blanville. So some good play there. Just an example that this Fury side cannot take this Blanville team lightly. They are capable, like we just saw in that moment, of 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 a quality play, of a quality combination play in the midfield. So they cannot take this team lightly. For sure, when there's a bit of time on the ball, there's players on this Blainville team that can hurt that back line right now that have been um, pretty shaky when there's a bit of a, an open ball. Um, and fortunate enough that, that there's been some big tackles. So I know Adakora and Mayor Jiga just spoke about it. Here's Obazi. Back to Mayor Giguer. On loan from the impact. Giguer, ball forward looking for Hayward. That's a bit too far. Mayor Giguer, a fixture for this Ottawa team. Dico looking long. He's gone. Oh. For LeConte and, and the ball's out for a corner kick. For every single time that Ottawa Fury wins that ball, Tony Taylor's looking to get in behind. So that Blainville back line, while they're in possession, need to, uh, need to see exactly where Tony Taylor is because he's, he's on his horse every single time. Yeah, a lot of direct balls over to Tony Taylor, who scored the opening goal in the second minute, just past the first minute, scores the opening goal. Interesting corner right here, everybody in front of the keeper. Yeah, referee's gonna intervene here. Some pushing and shoving going on in the box. Referee coming in to make sure that that stops. You can just see Obasi right there. Might peel off. Ball up to the first post, and the referee says, well, the pushing and shoving didn't stop, and that's going to be a free kick for Blanville. Well, that wasn't really intelligent after the referee basically told all the players, you know, if you're going to stay in there, make sure you're not, you're not moving or you're not impeaching the keeper to, to get access to the ball, so... Yeah, referees asked uh, Ofuya, the goalkeeper, to retake the free kick. I think because the ball was in motion. It is windy here. Maybe that was the reason why, but uh, he'll have to retake that free kick. And ball looking for Mayard. And that's Manila with the header. Manila again. Ball forward from Taylor. And Beausejour does well. They're defending 1v1. That's great technique right there. Not, not trying to take the ball away, but you know, waiting, waiting for some cover and at the same time uh, being able to make a play. It's well done. Yeah, it seemed like uh, that was Hayworth taking on uh, taking on Bosage or 1v1. Hayworth was playing on the right to start the game, is now on the left. And uh, Adonija Reed is now number 30, now on the right side for for the Fury. So some 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 tweaks in the tactic in the tactics for the Fury. Nearly a ball forward. It's a foul. Yeah, that's definitely a foul. That's uh, going to be a free kick coming up for, for Blindville. Once again, winning the ball. And players running, trying to get in behind. Yeah, Jamar Dixon with the late run out of midfield. Here's Deco over to Red Redraj. Lenore. Red Redraj. Deco Renault. The captain, a bit too much there, just got it away in time. Can't be too casual. Yeah, just one touch too many there. 
And the Fury get possession of Obazi of the long throw looking for Taylor. Taylor holds it up. Back to Obazi. Obazi, you've seen him. He's a big man, but he's got some, some good feet. Very comfortable on the ball. Well, you usually see that type of profile at that position. But Obasi is a big, strong, technically pretty good. So. Some pressure there. And the Fury recovered deep in Glanville territory. Reed loses the ball. Popovich, Popovich calling for his Fury players when they lose the ball there in that Glanville third to try and aggressively win back possession. Nearly yeah. succeeded there, but certainly an aggressive approach. It can't be too. Lose the ball and try to win that ball higher up the pitch. Here's Renault out wide to Beau Sejour. Very active on the right side. Ball tries the early cross. It was too far. Crepeau decides to chest it down. Not in any hurry. Uh, yeah. So here's where Blainville's got to be good in the, in the last 10 minutes, Nick, and, mm -hmm. and, and keep it and keep it tight and try you know, to go, go in. If you can get a goal, great, 1-1. One, one, but just try to keep it tight and make some adjustments at halftime. What adjustments would you make, Jason? I mean, they, they've they've played but they've played fairly well, I would say. Haven't created in that final third, like you said, they haven't been able to really test Crepo yet. So in that final third, there, there's there's still some work to do. But what adjustments would you make in the, in in the second half for what do they need to do better this Blanville side to, to try and uh, threaten uh, the Fury? And, for this half, but also in the second half. Well, the first thing I would mention is definitely when we are, when Blainville is in possession, to make sure that they're aware of where the Ottawa Fury players um, are, because as soon as they win it, they're trying to, uh, they're trying to go forward. And second is when they're in the off, when they're building and they're passing half, is try to add one, two, or three passes, but switch the point of attack. Ottawa Fury's defending and being very, very compact on the side of the ball. So if you could add one or two passes and switch, which Blainville have done several times, and then just a bit more composure in the offensive half. From the Fury standpoint, uh, Popovich, you could see, doesn't seem like a very happy person right now. Happy coach with his players. Did get the goal, but since then, haven't necessarily been creating a ton of chances, a couple set pieces. But Popovich does not look like, like not, not looking very happy with his players in this game so far. Likes, I think he wants a lot more from them. He's he's been standing this whole game. So it's just a one goal lead. Oh, that's Oliveira taken down. Yet another free kick for the Fury. No cards yet. Quick ball again. Looking to catch Blainville backline off guard. Again, it's like you mentioned earlier. They immediately look for Taylor. Obviously, a player with a certain pedigree playing in MLS. Also played uh, for Panama, represented Panama a couple times. So, certainly a, a talented player who's experienced and uh, very alert. As soon as as soon as they, they win back possession, he's looking to get in behind this Blainville back line, which, impressively, they have not sat back in this game. We, we thought maybe they would bunker, perhaps, given... But they haven't shown Ottawa Fury any respect in, in that kind of sense. They've Ottawa. been really out, really aggressive, uh, Blainville, as you, an approach. Yeah, for sure. And you can even argue that they're actually out-hustling right now, Ottawa Fury. And I think that's what Popovich is trying to get out of his boys right now and trying to press and win that ball higher up the pitch because you got to provoke something right now in terms of the hustling and the work ethic. Um, Blainville is matching them if not a, having giving even more yep. of, of, of an effort. But also Ottawa, Ottawa's missing a bit of the variety. Right now it's all uh, 
to Taylor in behind. Yep. Can they you know, put their foot on the ball and be available? There's a lot of direct direct balls right now. And yeah, it's another direct ball. The player down for the Fury. And it's another tackle. This game is starting to get a little out of hand. The referee's got his yellow. That's going to be the first yellow card. Slight altercation here. You could just tell that it was coming. Fury may be starting to feel the pressure a little bit, starting to tense up a little bit because you know, on paper you say, oh well, they should win this game comfortably, it should be straightforward in theory perhaps, but they are up 1-0, so, but, but Blanville have held their own in this game and there are some nervous, there are some nerves out there certainly, Popovich not happy at all with his players and uh, and it's another dangerous free kick coming up for Blainville. <laughs> if Blainville can get Ottawa to not focus only on the game and worry about tackles and, and little scuffles, it's it's a positive for Blainville and I think that's that's a great advantage for Blainville. Yeah, maybe getting in their heads a little bit. Just gotta make sure that you stay with 11 on the field and not get carried away. Here's Belgen Dews at the delivery, long, can he get there? Oh, it's a save from Cripple! What a save. What a save by Cripple. What a ball by Belgen Dews. That was a great ball in from, from Belgen Dews, like you said, for the onrushing player. And Cripple had to make a quick reaction save, a difficult one, had to dive quickly low to his left. And that was going in, Jason. That's a huge save by Cripple. Ottawa Fury on their heels right now. The deliveries hadn't been good up until that point, but that was a great delivery. Here's another corner kick coming for Belgian Dudes. Kind of piling on the pressure here, Blanville. Ball to the first post, that's cleared. But Blanville recover possession. Ball in again, and that's easily headed away. Gotta get organized though. Some nervy moments here for the Fury. Here's Taylor on the counter. Blanville doing a good job to get back behind the ball and regain their shape. Fantastic by Blainville. Fury just trying to settle things down a little bit. Just stay compact. Dixon out wide. Here's Edward Ford. We haven't seen him forward too much and Ball tries to cross it. That's on the top of the net. And uh, that's going out for a corner kick. That ball was deflected. So it's gonna be a corner kick to the Fury. It was a good spell of, of pressure for Blanville. Had really, I think that was their first first shot on goal. At least it was their first major attempt. Just a dangerous opportunity that, and a great save from Pripo. And stay focused right now. So another set piece looks like a little bit of a trickery. Ball in, and that's comfortable for Ophelia. Quick throw out. And that's Beausajour, excuse me, that's Lenore on the other side. Real, some real tactical tweaking here. Players being shuffled from right to left. I think that was Lenore on the right side because after the set piece, he had just happened to be running out to the right side, but he's back on the left, Lenore, and Beausajour back on the right. We're talking about moments in the game and these next three, three four minutes before halftime are huge. Red Ratch, New Alley. It's surprising that there's not a there's not any type of pressure from Ottawa Fury with a block, medium block, and giving all this time to um, to Blainville. Yeah, the pressure has come mostly from from Blainville. Well, here, here's maybe an opportunity. Ball in the box. It was a driving run forward from Beausajour. We've seen those overlapping runs time and time again. Nick, these chances come because of no pressure on the ball carrier. So Ottawa dropping and Blainville always has that option to play that ball over the top. And another corner and kick another from Blainville. 
We're in the 44th minute here. Can Blanville take advantage of these numerous set piece opportunities? Here's another corner kick coming up. It's a great ball. Ball in the box. Oh, Crippo intervenes. Got a touch. It's going to be another corner. Such a dangerous ball in an area where keeper's got to be brave, take out his player and everything in front of him, and that's exactly what Crippo did. He has a swinging ball to the first post. Better going to do is with that whipping in swinger. It's one of those could just go right into the, right into the back of the net if it just deflects off somebody. Very dangerous there. Better on these deliveries, Belgian dudes. A lot of movement inside the box. Here's Belgian dudes again. Right to the first post again. This time that's comfortable for Crippo. Nobody there in front of him. Mayard obstructing Crippo a little bit there. Gets away with it. And that's a ball forward. The Howard, some intricate play. Here's Reed. Hayworth and ball cleared out, but some pressure now from the Fury. Here's Edward. Edward crosses the second post, and that's too far. And it's going to be a corner kick for the for the Fury. The ball went off the corner flag and then went out. So it looks like it's gonna be a corner kick. And it's gonna be one minute of stoppage time here at the end of this first half. So not much time left. Maybe one, maybe an opportunity or two left in these last 60 seconds or so. Gotta defend this Nick right here. Ball into the first post and that's a Fuya gets, well it's a header out and a shot from distance so that's way over. from Oliveira, I believe. An audacious attempt, going for the spectacular, that's out for a goal kick. If we have the ball forward and, and that's it for this first half. The fourth official had said one minute, but wasn't that wasn't as long as that and that's it for the first half the F Ottawa Fury lead one to nothing from a goal from Tony Taylor in the second minute but ever since then it's been a fairly balanced encounter here and Blanville have come close to equalizing but it's still 1-0 for the Ottawa Fury your thoughts on this first half uh, Jason well, the biggest difference for me is that first minute in the game where Blaville fell asleep for that for that first minute, and um, there's enough quality on on the Ottawa Fury team that that can hurt them. After that, I felt like they settled in. Um, you know, the crowd got behind them. They actually used the physicality to get themselves to get themselves back in the in, in the game, and we saw a lot of frustration from all the Ottawa play, Ottawa players and the coaching staff which, in my opinion, helped um, build the confidence of, uh, of Blainville. Now, in terms of the quality, you know, can we try to play a bit more? Can we add one or two passes? I think if both teams can add one or two more passes, then space is going to open up, which I find right now it seems like it's, I recover and I'm trying to play forward. A fascinating second half in store. We will be back shortly. 1-0 for the Ottawa Fury here at Stade des Jardins in Laval.
here for the second half at Stade Desjardins in Laval. Blaville kicking off from left to right. And Fury with the 1 0 lead from an early goal by Tony Taylor. And that's the difference here in the game. But if Blanville's going to get through this series, they're going to need a goal in this game. You would have to think. So an important, a hugely important 45 minutes coming up for Blanville. And Popovich, the Ottawa Fury coach, I'm sure he had a very stern halftime talk with his players after a fairly flat first half from them. He, despite the fact that they did get the early goal. So we'll see what kind of reaction they have in this game. In the second half. And it's a throw in now for for Blanville deep in their end. And you can already see maybe the Ottawa Fury have changed their attitude when, when the ball's in this area, a little more aggressive now. But Noor Ali is able to play it out wide. And uh, there's been a change for Blanville. Apsi is in the game for for the men in blue, Apsi the goal scorer from, from the last week. It's likely that he's come on for Lakuri on the left-hand side. I can't confirm that yet, but it does seem to be the case that Apsi's come on for Lakuri on the left-hand side. So a like-for-like -like change. But Apsi has shown in this game championship so far that he can make the difference for for this Blaville team. A tricky winger, especially in 1v1 situations. Throw it coming up for Blaville. Noor Ali. Here's Beausejour. Di Reno to Noor Ali, the orchestrator in midfield. Once again, an Ottawa Fury block that's very, very low and giving a lot of time for the players out of the back of Blainville to prepare the attack. Oh, that's some nice link-up play there. Can he get to it? The ball into Lacolte, and he's able to put some pressure and force Fury to put the ball out, throw in for Blainville, and it's some good possession now for them. Here's Maillard, back to Noor Alley. This is Lenore. Red Raj to Noor, Noor Alley, back to Deco. Some patient possession here from Blainville. Maillard checks back. And for the ball, and that's a giveaway. Mayar frustrated with himself. Simple giveaway. Not much pressure on him either, and that's going to be a throw in for the Fury. But a similar pattern of play to what we saw in those last 20 minutes, Jason. The Fury sitting kind of deep in their in their block and uh, letting Blanville keep, keep possession. Yeah, the story of the game right now, it's one great chance by Ottawa, which they buried, and Blainville had one great chance that Max Cripple stood on his head and made a big save, so. Here's Reed now. Can he beat Beausejour? Takes it to the byline. Tried to cross with his left, and that's deflected out for a corner kick. It was a good ball out wide for Reed in isolation against Beausejour. We've seen Bosejour a couple times already now in this game do pretty well in 1v1 situations. And here comes another set piece for the Fury. And they're just crowding the first post. We've seen this before already in the game. Crowding the first post and see if a player is just going to peel off. And it's a ball into the middle of the, 
of the six yard box and that's easy for a Fuya. not what the Fury intended to do but interesting set piece it's not the first time that we we've seen that I mean usually you're going to rotate your set pieces try something entirely new every time but oh Ooh. that's almost the giveaway from New Alley but oh wow he just gets out of that dangerous situation nearly a disastrous giveaway but the Fury recuperate possession and the player is pushed down I think it's Obazi pushed down Popovich not happy play continues Fury still have the ball Manella tried to turn and that's Yannick Toker who puts it out for Froen Norali really lucky there N not the area you want to start dribbling that's the fr from his old days and uh, playing in that number 10 position. Uh, the the Impact Academy, uh, the kid. Yeah, usually see him higher up the field, but playing in a deeper role, obviously, and that's a, a high-risk territory right in front of the back line. Cannot give the ball away. Credit to him, he didn't give it away in the end, but nearly did. So, obviously, a, a player with talent on the ball. I'm sure well, the one they're all, they'll be watching video for the next game. That would be something where coach gives him a little uh, not there type comment. Yeah, it seems like he's, he, he's the key for, at least in this game, the way that they're set up, he's the key for, uh, Noor Alley's the key for Blanville in that middle of the field. And, uh, you know, the Fury need to do a better job in, uh, in putting a little bit more pressure on him, maybe having, you see Taylor now in a kind of deeper position. But someone has to track Norali in the midfield because he's the guy who really makes this Blantville team tick. And here's another player who takes makes them tick, and that's LeConte. He's usually very lively, and he's called back for offside. He was in an offside position and then checked back towards the ball to receive it. But no matter, he's called back for offside. Still 1-0 for the Fury. We're in the 53rd minute. Ball four from Crepo. Oh, maybe a giveaway now here. Can Taylor finish? And it's out for a corner kick. Some scrappy play in the middle of the field there in front of the box on the edge of the area. And it was Oliveira who was causing some havoc with some pressure and ball trickled to, to Taylor who's, who's been menacing. But Ofuya did well in the end, very well indeed to keep that, keep Taylor from getting a shot on goal. Here's a corner kick whipped in and again it's Ofuya. But Afuya did really well to close down Taylor there in that situation. Yeah, Taylor was waiting for him to go down or to try to make a decision. And Afuya just stayed with him and made sure that he didn't make the decision for the striker. That's great goalkeeping right there. Ball back to Afuya. So here, Ottawa, a bit higher, a bit of a higher pressure. It's a long ball. Adakora winning that aerial duel with with Mayar, physical battle there between the striker and the former TFC center back. That's a nice play. Ball out to Hayworth, it's a bit too far for him. And it's gonna be a goal kick for, for Blainville. We were speaking at the halftime, Jason, you mentioned the fact that the Fury were playing a little bit too long sometimes in the first half. Maybe need to check back a little at times in the midfield and make a couple, two, one or two more passes in their attacking sequences. We saw there Kevin Oliveira checking back and getting possession, and you see a little one-two play to feed out the Hayworth. The ball was too long, but it's a little bit better, it seems, from the Fury. And they get a foul here. Free yep. kick coming up. So they've definitely made some adjustments in their offensive animation in trying to add an extra pass or two. And we saw two or three times already in this first half with a bit of a higher pressure. That was a good ball from Manella. Looking for... It was Hayworth on the outside. 
So now it's going to be important for, for Blainville to feel that pressure and try to switch the point of attack once, they, once they're under pressure because there is space on the opposite side. Yes, and that's Mayar taken down. Some good hold-up play for him. And you can see terrific support here for Blaville once again in this historic Canadian championship. And that's get some, some lovely bit of skill from, from Noor Alley. Crossing the box here for Mayard. And the defender, I think that's Mayard Giguere, who did really well to get in front of Mayard. And it's a ball out for a corner kick. Dangerous opportunity for Blaville. Yeah, that's great defending right there, Mayard. That makes a great run right in the timing and Jigar that just gets right in front of him. A lot of players in the box for Blainville. They take it short, crossed in, deflected. Oh, and it's a terrific save from Crapo once again. What a save. It's what? another save. He had to react to that. The ball was deflected. Corner was taken short. Ball went to the first post, was deflected. It was going. It was going in, Jason. It was going in to the to the top shelf there, and Crepeau had to react. And it's another amazing reaction save from Crepeau to keep Fury in the lead here, 1-0 in the 57th minute. It's two big saves, two sure goals right there. Big save by Crepeau. Crepeau has been on fire with this fireside. I guess that's pun intended. But uh, he was a player of the month in the USL for, uh, for the Fury. Uh, six consecutive shutouts for them. So he is, he's is he been doing really well for, for the Fury, gaining in confidence. The man on loan from the impact. And that was another another opportunity for Blanville, who, who really, I would say, in these first 15 minutes of the second half of been the more dangerous side. Fourth official getting an earful from both from both coaches. So coaches are are both up and, and feeling the uh, the intensity. So uh, we got ourselves uh, we got ourselves a game, Nick. You know, this was not the game that maybe we expected, or perhaps at least not in theory the game that you might expect, given that the fact that the Fury scored in the first minute, the, first, the second minute, and so you look at that and think, okay. Maybe it's going to be one of those games where the Fury just just cruise through this one. And it has not been that kind of game. The Blainville have kept this tight, and they've created chances. And this game could easily be 1-1 at the moment. It's still Fury in the lead in the 59th minute. But Blainville giving the professional side, the Ottawa Fury, a run for their money here. And the fans are loving it. It's a great game here, and the, it's a really intense game. We've seen... I've lost count as to how many fouls we've seen in this game. Only one yellow card. That's going to be offside. And uh, the line, yeah, the, that that back line, it's uh, tracking the runs from from Taylor, who's always looking to get in behind. Difficult task for this back line here. As ball forward from Ofuya looking again, once again from Mayard, and Giguere getting ahead to it. Battle now going on. And it's Leconte who's taken down, wins the foul. Excuse me, that was Toker, number 27, who's playing in a pretty advanced position. It's an attacking, you know, it's an attacking lineup from this Blainville side. We look at these three midfielders, Maxim Leconte, Noor Ali, and Toker, all very attack-minded, not necessarily... Uh, a sort of uh, defensive style midfielder in there, although some do. Um, New Ali has to play in front of the back four, but it's an attack minded lineup from Blenville. We saw that just now. And so it's it's pretty brave from the from Blenville and, and, and the coach Emmanuel Macano. They they have not sat back in this game. They have gone after this Fury team and they're playing just their regular game as they would play, as they did play against the Oakville Blue Devils. So yeah, I've coached um, Norali and Tucker yep. in a higher in a higher role. So to see them, 
actually having those defensive responsibilities has shown growth in their game and these are players that you know can have an opportunity to maybe play in the cpl next year so uh, it's good to see their 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 development and and the great work that blaineville has done with them while well, tucker coming in right now as a um, as a new player but his role and his dedication defensively is a, is a positive that's the switch yeah the quick switch as it's you on. mentioned to that weak side ball back to Afuya who's shown them comfortable in possession Ooh. oh Whoa, 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 oh, that, whoa, that was also a dangerous intervention there from Oliveira. It's been a couple of uh, who kicked close out at, calls. Who kicked out at that ball, but it uh, seemed like he wouldn't have minded if his kick landed on on Belgandu's there. This is a physical match here. Only one yellow card, which is somewhat surprising, but... Probably going to see more if this continues. That's Oliveira, who plays it to Hayward. It's a great Hayward driving at the, the Blanville back line. Taylor back to Hayward. Hayward a strike! And Ophelia punches it away. It was directly at him, but it was a, some nice play from, from the Ottawa Fury. We haven't seen too much of that, some combination play. A little one-two there between Taylor and Hayward. Yeah, Taylor that, again, once again, peeled off his defender. Great pass in the timing. Attracted the whole back line towards him and then laid off um, a little one-two for a great shot on goal. Yeah, Blanville down 1-0, but uh, judging by the, the fans and their enthusiasm, it almost seems Blainville is in the lead here, given the support they've they've gotten. I Obviously, no matter what happens, they are happy to be here. I think they're appreciating the effort. They're appreciating the fact that the game is close, that they're giving you know that type of effort and being engaged, and and try to push them to to get that equalizer like we saw in, in their last home game. So, still 30 minutes here. Anything can happen. What a beautiful night for soccer here. Beautiful skies in the background. And we had some great news also recently that uh, the World Cup is coming to Canada, the joint bid 2026 announced just the other week. So, and then with the CPL coming next year as well, there is just so much to be excited about. If you're a soccer fan, if you're a sports fan in this country, You've got to be excited, Nick. This is, <laughs> if you're in the soccer world and you're not excited about the CPL, you're not excited about the World Cup, you know, eight, in eight years we can do a lot, then it's not for you uh, to be part of this sport. But if you are, be involved and, and try to do what you can to make the, um, the sport here in Canada progress. Okay, yeah, the Canadian Premier League, CPL, is uh, Canada's men's professional soccer league set to debut in spring 2019. Well, look out. Here's maybe an opportunity for the Fury. Ball out, and it's going to be a goal kick for Blainville. But next year, CPL will be launching the Canada's very own soccer league, the Canadian Premier League. Playing in world-class and unique venues, the CPL will bring professional soccer to communities across our great country. The announced clubs so far are Halifax, York, Winnipeg, Edmonton, and Calgary. Uh, to put down your deposit for tickets in CPL communities, visit campl.ca slash deposits. And as we see tonight, there's re a real enthusiasm for local soccer. So... I, that's another thing to be excited about. Obviously, the World Cup in 2026, Canada, along with the United States and Mexico, successfully winning the bid over Morocco to get the World Cup here. And a ball was, free kick was given to Blainville, and they took it quickly. It was taken quickly while some of the Blainville players were getting upset with the referee. It nearly turned into a chance for Blainville. 
They're still arguing if the referee is there. Right now, Blainville's got to stay focused on the task at hand. We just saw Max Tissot, former um, Montreal Impact and MLS player, come in. So he's going to bring some some experience and some quality down this left side. And we know that he's got a, a fantastic left foot. Try to get some service to uh, to Tony Taylor. Yeah, Tissot into the game, the Quebec native. And... Uh, as you mentioned, Blainville caught napping a little bit. They well, they were I say caught napping. They were they were caught arguing with the referee over that challenge, and uh, Ottawa Fury nearly capitalized on that sequence. So have to be careful. Still a lot of time left in this game. Twenty five minutes. You're down a goal. You don't want to go down two. Here's Obazi. Gets forward and then. And Beausajour taken down by Tiso. Tiso arguing at the fourth official. This game is heated. You can really feel the nerves from this Ottawa Fury side. If they thought this was going to be easy, well, it has not been easy. But the Fury now on the ball looking to add to their lead, and it's given away. It's Noor Ali. The Belgian Deuce. Belgian Deuce loses it. Oliveira. Adiko stepped up to intervene on Oliveira. And referee awards a free kick to the Fury. The fans are not happy about that. Nick, I thought, I, I thought that was a great tackle, to be honest. But right now, both coaches are having a go at the, at the referees. I want to see this this referee and, and 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 his assistants really control this game because it looks like it's going into a, a direction where there might be two or three close calls and they got to get it right. Jigera wide to Obazi. Obazi to Tiso. Blainville really defending with two two lines of four. So Tiso. A fullback by trade, but playing in that advanced position on the left-hand side. Obviously capable of playing, occupying that position. And that's a long ball out to Tiso. Bosajor tracking him. Blanville recover possession. A lot of pressure from the Fury. And on top of Mayard. Oh, that's a oh a tough tackle from Manella in the midfield. Seemed like he got the legs of Noor Ali there in the middle, but uh, in any event, it's out for a goal kick. But this game has been very physical. You can see how much is at stake here. So we've seen some players from Blainville now stretching on the field now we're in the last 20 20 22 minutes versus an ottawa fury team like i mentioned before that trains every day that probably are fitter yeah than this blaineville team so it's it's even more important right now to stay compact and really choose your moments and not give too much space and time and of course stay focused and not get into all that extra stuff right now yeah you could see ottawa fury have been imposing themselves a little bit more in these last 10 minutes but it's blaineville on the ball now which is expected, right, Nick? Yeah. Yeah. You would think you would think that they'd be the ones dictating the tempo here. But it's Blanville on the ball. And Lenore out left to Apsi, who has come on in the second half. It's only the one sub, so that's ball sure. given, given away too easily. And if Fury recuperate possession, here's Manella looking to change the point of attack out to Tiso out wide. Bosajor tracking him closely. Back to Obazi. Obazi to Tiso. Back to Obazi. Obazi plays it back to Mayor Giver and Otto if you're reset. And here's Crepeau. Adekora. Here's Crepeau again. 
Pull out wide, a nice ball to Obazi. Finds Oliveira. Can't Oliveira turns, turn. takes the ball to Taylor, and he's way for offside. Can't make it. Can't make your striker turn in that pocket there. You gotta be tight on him and get cover in behind. Well, here comes a change for for Blanville. Their second change of the game. It's Thibaut Molinas, number nine, coming on for Yannick Toker. Looks to be an attacking substitution for Blanville, who who need a goal in this in these last 20 minutes. We're in the 71st minute. And it's still 1-0 for the Fury from a goal from Tony Taylor in the second minute. And here's Lenore bombing forward. Crossing the box for Maillard. And that's Mayard Giguere with the clearance. And the Fury looked to counterattack now. But oh, if you're missing that quality. Lenore finds Leconte, Leconte out to Apsi. Apsi tries to take his man on 1v1, doesn't succeed, and he fouls. And that'll be a free kick. Looks like Eddie Edward was taken down there. That's yep. Great defending by Edwards. Ottawa still missing that, that final pass or that pass right before that final pass. And I think that's what Popovich is... is has shown frustration right now in terms of that technical quality to to unbalance that back line. Ball for coming out for throw in for Blanville. Apsi heads it to Lacombe. And it's the Fury who recover possession. Manella tries to change the point of attack, but Tissot had come inside, but he still manages to get there somehow. It was as if the Blanville had given up on that ball, thinking it was going to go outside, but Tissot had not. And uh, chase the ball down, and the Fury now recover possession. Here's Mayor Giguer, ball forward to Tissot, who heads it, but to nobody. And Noor Ali recovers. But Noor Ali, well. Uh, wins, wins the foul. Popovich is not happy with that call. No reason to foul there. You're in good position. You're pressuring higher up the pitch. You got numbers. Just got to hold your ground. I know you want to try to win it, but maybe force a pass and make the, the, your player next to you try to win it. Looks like Ofuya is going to go long here. And he does. It's to Mayar. Mayar Giguer behind him. And the Fury win, and the Blanville, excuse me, win possession. Beausejour. Beausejour again to Noor Ali. That's a bad pass given away. Taylor recuperates. And it's Dixon to Oliveira. Taylor had made the run in behind, but looked to be offside, so it's out wide now. And um, that looks like it just went out, and that's going to be a goal kick for the uh, for the hosts here. It was a poor giveaway in the middle. I haven't seen too many giveaways from this Blanville side. They've been pretty proper in possession, although Ottawa haven't pressed them too much. They've done a bit of a better job of that in this first half. 75th minute, still 1-0 for the visitors, the Ottawa Fury of the United Soccer League. Mayard out wide, here's Apsi. Apsi, and that's a poor touch with the left foot. It's out for a throw-in. Eddie Edward in no rush to take this throw in. Trying to cheat a little bit with the distance of it. Referee lets play on. Mm -hmm. 
And oh, that's a bad challenge. That's a really bad challenge out wide. And that's a yellow card. Disappointing for Mayal tonight. Hasn't gotten much service up top. And we know that he's got that that lethal left foot and just needs a bit of time. So if they can just try to get one or two situations where you can get him involved. Because right now he hasn't um, he hasn't touched many balls, nor has he been involved in anything. Looks like a, a yellow card for Noor Ali would come out wide to defend. And it's Mayor Shigar with the long ball out wide. That's LeColt now, picks it up in the middle. Oliveira wins possession. Out wide to Tissot, who's offside. Just offside, Tissot asking for that ball to come a little quicker from Oliveira. And here's come some changes now. It's Sila coming on for, for, for Blainville, a player that Popovich, the Ottawa Fury coach, had singled out as one player who could be a real threat against this Fury side. So we'll see what he can do in these final 14 minutes. The Fury had wanted to make a change, weren't able to. Looks like Lubo Yora, number 17, is on the touchline and is going to be set to come on any moment now. So it looks like there's a bit more pace on the wings right now for the last 15 minutes, Nick. So if they can try to win the ball and add a pass or two and try to get out of pressure, there's enough, there's enough pace on, uh, on the wings right now to try to get in behind. Yeah, it looks like Blainville's got all their guns out now. All their main attacking players are out on the field. Mayard has been a little too isolated, I think, right? I mean, a bit looking for him often, but uh, haven't seen as much from him. But we do know that from that first game, last round, against the Oakville Blue Devils, that you give him a chance, and he can put it away like he did in that game to give them a 2-1 uh, a league in that first leg uh, in the first round. So just have to give him a chance. We'll see if the Blanville can do that in these last... 12, 13 minutes or so. Yeah, Nick, don't, don't we feel like every time there's a game, there's always something that happens towards the end of the game these days? So I feel like this one could be, I don't know, I, I'm not, uh, I don't have the crystal ball, but I feel like this one maybe could be, could be that. I'm feeling it. I don't know about you. But Fury would certainly like a goal, a second goal to bring back to Ottawa next week. Oh, for sure. I think Fury should go get this, you know, this second goal and really put pressure for the next leg. Another foul. This time it's on Apsi, and that's going to be a good free kick for Blanville in in Fury territory. Close enough, I think, that they'll be able to put this one in the box, but they take it quickly. It's ball out wide, sent into the second post, and Crapo gets there. Tried to catch Fury off guard a little bit with that quick free kick, but it's Crapo who gets on to the the subsequent cross and Crepeau looks long for his former impact teammate Maxime Tissot who puts it down for Olive Oliveira here's Obazi to Tissot and Tissot is taken down it's well done from Tissot to provoke the 1v1 in there now dangerous, dangerous spot, side of the field. Not an easy angle to defend. Fury pushing for the, for the second here. Some tired legs out there for Blanville. Some might be an understatement. Here's a ball in. Obazi's went down. Some calls for a penalty shot there, but referee isn't having it. And that's a goal kick for Blainville. Played short. Okay. 
81st minute, 10 minutes to go here at Stade Desjardins in Laval. Ball launched forward, looking for Lecomte. Oh, that's a tough challenge, but a good one according to the referee. And here's Apsi, finds the, the active Lecomte, tries to cross it immediately, and that's out for a throw-in. Seen so much movement from Lecomte, offering so many runs for his teammates. And the Fury now pinned back a little bit in their end. Here comes a throw. -up. Ben Gudez, that's oh, it looks now like it's going to be a corner kick on that one. Yeah. With Ben Gudez off, yep. off the field, we're going to see an outswinger here from uh, from Leconte. Referee having a talking to with the players once again in the box. Here, where physically you're fatigued, and there's the mental aspect, and making sure that. You, you stick with your man and you don't get lazy. Referee having a talking to with Mayard, the striker. There's a lot of pushing and shoving between him and Atacora. We need good service right here. And more pushing and shoving in the box. Ball to the first post. No, it's to the top of the box. Ali tries to bring it down. He can't strike from distance. And that's blocked. But the Fury can't get out, and it's another foul. It's going to be another free kick for Blanville here. And Blanville pouring on the pressure. Can Blanville take advantage? Another good free kick. Are they thinking about putting this one on goal, Jason? Looks like they probably won't opt to put this in the box. I think they're going to put it back post right now and try to get that second ball across goal. Cripple. Haven't seen Cripple give up a goal like this. A lot, Ever. <laughs> a lot of numbers forward for Blindville. The back post is on. Looks like he's... He hits it! Oh, what a strike! It's a save from Cripple! It's a great hit right there. Cripple stick with it. Stuck with it until the last second. What a strike from distance. That was a surprise from that distance. You th we thought maybe he put the cross in the box. Instead he goes for goal. And Cripple alert to it. Another good save from him. And that's a, another opportunity for Blainville. Just goes over. The captain, Dico Reno, got a good hit to that. A lot of movement on that free kick, Nick. He hit it well. Cripple stuck with it until the last second. Yeah, it was floating in the air there. Could have went anywhere. Cripple talking with the fourth official, with the linesman, excuse me, and uh, player down for the Fury. We're in the 84th minute. Blainville putting a lot of numbers forward. Great fighting spirit by Blainville in these last five minutes right now. And can they get that equalizer? You know, both coaches made subs and brought some speed. So the counter could be on. Not a lot of time left. That's uh, Tiso down now. Doesn't look, he doesn't look good right now. No. Gesturing that there was an elbow. And uh, explains also why Kripo was over at the linesman. But it's going to be a goal kick for the Ottawa Fury, 85th minute. Time trickling down. Should see at least three, four, maybe five minutes. Been a lot of stoppages here in the second half. Yeah, there have injury substitutions. It'll be interesting to see. Tissot on the touchline, and he's back in the game. 
throw into the Fury. Off Apsi for another throw into the Fury who are just killing the time now. But also wouldn't mind a second goal. Blanville can't get out. Dixon with the ball out wide. Just kept in, but now it's out and throw into the Fury. Again, a good idea, good intention, but just missing the quality and keep the ball in play. Very frustrating for Ottawa today because they got good intentions, just the quality that's missing. Edward plays it forward. Fury trying to keep the ball in Blanville territory. And it's another foul. It's going to be Blanville free kick. Some Fury fans are here and they're not happy with it. Ball forward to Mayar. Doesn't win the header. It's Adekora who does. Ball now in Blanville territory. Tiso back to Obazi. Obazi to Tiso. He's been lively since coming on. Here's Leconte. Oh, the miscontrol and the ball's out for a Fury throw in. But there are a lot of tired legs out there for Blanville. Rain's coming down now. It's windy. Just got to stay focused. That's not an easy one. Ball in the box. That's well done. But yeah, that's dealt well. Yeah, that was Lenore with the clearance. It was a difficult ball over the top. Bouncing a little awkward, but dealt well with that. And here's another throw in. Here's Edward. Some good pressure here from the Fury. <laughs> and Plainville get the free kick. Noor Allen has been involved in so many of those situations. I so thought he's done well, uh, yeah. Nick. I, th I, I thought he's done well. Not easy. Uh, not always having his partner right next to him. So he had to cover a lot, a lot of ground today. Uh, not always the best decision making, but definitely. Oh, maybe a chance oh, for Maillard. Yeah, it Crepeau gets worked. to that, but... And Norali definitely uh, worked his socks off today. Any other players that uh, stood out for you on this Blanville side and as well as that from the, the, the Fury? Uh, to be honest, it was more of a collective effort. Uh, we wanted to see how they responded after that, uh, that first mistake in the first minute. So uh, more of a collective effort. Uh, team looked well prepared and, and well coached. So uh, hats off to, um, to Blainville. I think Ottawa expect a lot more, a, a, a lot more from themselves. So they'll look yep. back in this game and and try to clarify some uh, some uncertainties when going forward. But at the same time, just clear, uh, clean up technically. Yeah, I said before this game, uh, I mentioned David versus Goliath, but it hasn't been that at all in this encounter. And here's Tiso driving down the left side. Thought of crossing, but. Decides not to just keep possession. Here's Oliveira, top of the box. Some trickery dribbling. Stay on your feet. Well done. But that's well defended by well Bonneville. Defended. Again, it's Norali who had to come to help cover. And it's Ofuya who will take the goal kick. He's in a hurry, urging his players to get up the field. They're down a goal in this game. It's 1 0 for the Fury. Blantville need a goal. They want to take at least a draw back into that second leg next week on Wednesday at uh, in Ottawa. That game will be played at TD Play Stadium. Visit CanadaSoccer.com for details. And the fourth official 
on the sideline has signaled that there'll be three minutes of stoppage time. A little surprising given uh, that there have been several injuries, couple injuries, I should say, and, uh, and some subs, but they gotta go for it now, Blanville. Ball over the top. That's what and I was talking about, Nick. It's while they're attacking to make sure you stay focused and, and organized in case you lose the ball. And now a corner kick that I'm pretty sure they didn't want to give up at this time of the game. And here's a sub now coming from the Fury, trying to kill time. It's going to be Menezio coming on. Sergio Menezo coming on, and it's going to be and it was Dixon coming off. Obviously, Fury now trying to kill the clock. Not much more than a minute left. Can Blanville get a late equalizer? They've already scored late goal in this tournament. It was here. It was Mayard who got it against Oakville. Can they get another here in the dying moments of this first leg in the second round of the Canadian Championship? It's New Alley. Blanville keeping possession, but not in the area they want it to be. You know, Fouya goes long. It's LeConte. Got to get in the box, get numbers in the box. Oh, this is good footwork. Is he offside? No, ball in the box. Oh, you got to get in the box, son. Obazi with the clearance. Fury just defending now. You're right, crossing the box. Nobody onto it. That's the focus we're talking about, Nick. On, on the defensive side, yes, but also on the offensive side is being focused and watching the play and anticipating the next play. If we w they would have had one, two runs into the box, then that's a tap-in. Yeah, Oliveira went down for that free kick, and he has been everywhere in this game, running from start to finish. So you also see the physical capabilities of this professional side, the Ottawa Fury, training every day, like you said, and also had... Plenty of time to prepare for this game as well. I thought he was their best player today yep. in terms of commitment and quality and fight. And that's it. Referee blows the whistle and the Ottawa Fury just do enough. A goal from Tony Taylor in the second minute gives them the 1-0 win over Blanville to take a a, a slim lead into that second leg next week at TD Stadium in Ottawa. I think Blainville's going to be happy going into um, going into Ottawa with uh, with a realistic chance. Yeah. Um, and also knowing that Max Grippel stood on his head on two or three occasions today that on any other day, maybe they come out with a result today. Yeah, two big saves from Max Grippel keep this game at 1-0 for the visitors, but Blainville can certainly hold their heads high after this after this game, despite it being a defeat. They went head to toe with this Ottawa Fury side and really gave them a run for their money. So still everything to play for. It's kind of what we hoped in a way. We hoped that at least that 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 this game wouldn't get away from Blanville to, to, to keep that second leg interesting. And after the first goal from Tony Taylor, we thought, oh, maybe this would be easy for for the visitors, for the Ottawa Fury, but it, it wasn't that way at all. Blanville really, I thought it was really fairly an even game for the most part. 
but 1-0 for the Fury. They take a slim lead into that second leg next week, next Wednesday. It'll be live again. You can uh, check CanadaSoccer.com for all the details. And I will be back shortly. This is Nick Sabetti. I'm alongside Jason Dutulio on the broadcast. Thank you so much for listening. Stay tuned. I will be on the field shortly to speak to a player or two. Nick, once and again, the fans applauding their fans. Thank you so much. I'll be back in a little Thank bit. You. Can Champ. Soccer fans, stay up to date on all 2018 Canadian Championship news by visiting the official website of the competition, canadasoccer.com slash championship, and join the conversation on Canada Soccer's Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram platforms by using hashtag Can Champ. Merci aux partisans qui sont présentés ce soir au match de la ronde préliminaire du championnat canadien.
Carl Hayworth, right? I'm here with Carl Hayworth after a 1-0 victory for the Ottawa Fury here in Laval. Carl, how do you feel after this 1-0 uh, win? Is it the kind of the game that you guys expected? Yeah, definitely. Um, we, we knew coming here was going to be difficult. We knew uh, they had a lot of quality in the side. Um, you know, we, we watched the first game. Uh, we had we had video on on the other game as well, and we scouted them. We like I said, they had they had quality throughout, so uh, we knew we couldn't come here and underestimate them. We had to respect them, um, and you could see in the game, you know, it was pretty even uh, throughout, and just some some key moments that really separated the game. Uh, I guess still everything to play for in that second leg. Uh, what kind of approach do you ex do you expect from you guys in that in that second game, uh, playing at home in front of your fans? Yeah, nothing changes for us. Um, you know, we, we just play the same way, uh, organize, compact, make it difficult for the other team, uh, limit their chances, and uh, hopefully capitalize on, on a few more back at TD Place. Um, you know, it's it's a tough stretch of games for us, but we, we have a deep enough squad. We have we have the legs to go, and uh, yeah, we're, we're confident going back to TD Place now. Got the early goal from Tony Taylor, who gave uh, Ottawa Fury the lead, but Blanville stayed in the game, and it looked like they could maybe get the equalizer. Were you surprised at all by by the quality of uh, Blanville in this game? Uh, no, not at all. Um, like I said, we knew coming in, uh, you know, the the quality that they had throughout. So uh, we we knew it was going to be a close game. We knew it certainly wasn't going to be easy. And uh, you know, if we took the foot off the gas at any moment, then they could uh, they could punish us. So uh, you know, lucky enough, uh, Max Crepo made two fantastic saves for us. Uh, near the end of the game there and, and kept us in it and probably won it for us and uh, you know all credit to the back four as well keeping it keeping a clean sheet keeping it nice and tight but uh, like I said you know fantastic effort from them uh, hat off to them and you know we look forward to the return leg. Good luck for the second game. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. That's it. 1-0 for the Ottawa Fury here at uh, in Laval and everything still to play for in that second leg next week on Wednesday. See you then.
Toyota Safety Sense comes standard on virtually all our vehicles because we never lose sight of the most important thing, you. We make our vehicles with safety top of mind and we can't wait to see what you'll do with them. Alone, just a car. Together, so much more. Toutes les pièces que le Wi-Fi a oubliées. Celles qui ont été laissées dans la poussière. Ignorées. Hors de la portée du routeur. Heureusement, un Wi-Fi rapide et intelligent est arrivé. Voici le Wi-Fi partout chez vous. Couvrez chaque pièce avec le Wi-Fi intelligent. Seulement avec Bell. Toyota Safety Sense est inclus de série sur pratiquement tous nos véhicules. Parce que nous ne perdons jamais de vue que ce qui compte le plus, c'est vous. Nous concevons des véhicules axés sur la sécurité. Et nous sommes impatients de voir ce que vous en ferez. Seul, simplement un véhicule. Ensemble, bien plus encore. to the world. It's the beautiful game. To us, it's proving we belong. In the neighborhoods and cities that make us who we are, this is a league we can call our own. For Canadians, by Canadians. We're on a journey out of the shadows and back into the hearts of a nation. That noise you hear is us moving in. And we're bringing the best homegrown talent with us. Players that bleed the same red as you, sworn to defend your home turf. Playing for your loyalty, playing for respect. Bonds will be forged, colors flown.